In the last episode, I visited elephants near Lampang. From there, I decided to leave northern Thailand and head south, all the way down to the city of Pechibudi. Pechibudi is a small city with lots of temples, some really nice nearby caves, a great historical park, and a whole bunch of monkeys. Pranakong Kiri Historical Park is on a hill in the very center of town. It is accessed by either hiking up scenic pathways or taking the cable car which goes to the top. The park's main attraction is the historic palace of King Mangkut. It also has a number of nicely landscaped trails, as well as some temples and stupas to check out. The most well-known cave in the area is Khao Luang Cave, which is about two kilometers from town and attracts a good amount of visitors. The biggest chamber of the cave is a small temple complete with numerous Buddha statues and a number of small stupas. There is a natural skylight which provides some dramatic lighting, especially with all the incense being burned. Pachabudi is home to quite a few monkeys which can be found in numerous locations including the various caves as well as in the historical park. The monkeys are well fed by the locals, but they always seem to want more. If they suspect someone has food, they won't hesitate to jump on that person and take it by force. Luckily, I managed to avoid any incidents. <laughs> From Pechibudi, I continued south to the border town of Renong on the west coast of the Thai Peninsula. My main reason for visiting Renong was to get a new Thai visa, which required doing a border run to Myanmar. Going to Myanmar and back involved a long boat ride across a large river estuary. After a few hours of boat rides and dealing with officials, I was back to my trip in Thailand. Before leaving Renong, I decided to check out some of the hot springs which the area is known for. The most well-known hot spring is right outside of town and has a picturesque well which is overflowing with extremely hot mineral water. Farther out of town is the scenic Poin Rang Hot Springs. It features a beautiful setting and a number of bathing options ranging from lounging in the hot spring fed river to relaxing in one of the many man-made pools. It was a great place and I'm happy that I paid it a visit. I also visited a quaint local spot called Renong Canyon, which was really just a small lake in a countryside location. At this point, I had seen most of what Renong had to offer, so it was time to head further south. But that will have to wait until the next episode.